we've just got this aloe plant. It's time to repot it into a cute new planter. The best pots for aloe have good drainage, so we're looking for something with a drainage hole. If you're really set on putting it in a planter that doesn't have a drainage hole, then you can just keep it in a plastic nursery pot and slip it inside the planter. And then when you water it, just take it over to the sink, just the inner pot, let it drain there and pop it back in the watertight planter. But this one has a nice drainage hole, so that's great. And this cute matching saucer. So I got this at Michael's. It's just a terracotta pot. I think it has chalkboard paint on it. So think about drainage and also look for earthenware. This is a terracotta pot that's been painted, but I don't think it's been glazed. Hopefully it will be a little bit breathable. But if, if you find an earthenware pot or a clay terracotta pot that does let a little bit of water seep through, that's absolutely perfect. Hopefully your plant won't get waterlogged because aloe plants do not like to be waterlogged. So when I got this pot at Michael's, they had conveniently placed paint pens right beside them. So I think that was just a craft in waiting. I do like my plant puns. I don't know why I find it so funny, but I totally do. Just having a look at the soil levels now. The soil level inside the plastic pot that it's already in is just about where I would like it to be inside of this terracotta pot. So I don't need to add any soil into the bottom of the pot. But if this, if it looked like the plant was gonna to be too low, I would put a bit of soil on the bottom. Speaking of soil, I have this nice succulent mix. So it's quite a light mix. You can see it's got some perlite in it, which is really nice, some cocoa coir. So it's gonna be really lightweight and allow for water to drain really freely out of it. You can also add a little bit more perlite to it if you find that your, your soil is too heavy. Um, so I might add a little bit of perlite in there perhaps, but you don't really have to if you buy a quality succulent soil. Let's get this aloe out of its plastic nursery pot. I'm just gonna give the sides a little squeeze. It looks actually quite damp. Aloes don't love to be damp for very long, the soil to be damp for very long. So I probably am actually not gonna water it after I replant it since it's potentially quite damp. Okay, so it does look quite damp, so that's not great, um, but it's not root bound at all. It's got lots of room to grow. I don't see any baby plants coming off this. You can actually, you can feel its stem in there. So you can see here is what the stem of an aloe vera plant looks like. So you wanna make sure that that part is all buried. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm keeping the soil level here where it was in its original pot. So let's go ahead and put this into its new pot. I'm not gonna water this for a few days after planting just because the soil that was in the existing pot was so damp. So I do wanna make sure I'm really firming down the potting soil gently, but firmly around the stem so that it's supported. This is just a young aloe plant, so it doesn't have any little offsets, any little pups or baby aloes coming off the side. Um, but if it does, you can pot those up separately. So that's kind of fun. You probably want to let them sit out overnight just so that the where you pull them off from the mother plant heals over a little bit. So that that's something that succulents tend to like is if you let the wound kind of scab over a little bit before you plant them the next day. And you can do that with the mother plant too. You can let it heal overnight and plant it the next day if it has a little bit of a wound where a pup has come off. I might put a little bit of perlite around the top just for fun. Might make it look, might make it pop. Pop with rock, popcorn. This stuff is quite dusty, so follow the instructions on the package. It usually recommends a mask. Hello there. So that is how I repot my owl plants. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the garden.